campus has had its Joe College of fond memory, who twittered the girls while making academic history with the raccoon coat and the white saddle shoe. But today, the Florida State University co-ed population has its own bouncing bow ideal. We might say that it's the gym colleges, not the Joes, who are the favorites at FSU. For national title after national title has fallen to these tumbling wizards of the graceful art of swing and sway in a muscular way. Here's the way to let the pretty co-eds know they've got you all a flutter. That's Dick Gutting making his entrance. On the trampoline, Dick Ireland does a brandy out flippus. Oh, nothing to drink. A double front flip with a half twist. Dr. Hartley Price, winningest gym coach in the country, has helped make the Seminole campus so conscious of the old Greek disciplines of the gymnasium that any passing student might happen on a set of rings and do a difficult cross or crucifix. Oh, sure, nothing to it. Of course, the passing student happens to be Joe Taylor, which makes a difference. He's doing a back upright to handstand on the parallel bars now, but he's twice won first on the rings in competition against the Swedish Olympic team. Don Holder, Olympic team member and veteran of the Pan American Games, does his stuff on the bars. Here are poise and muscular coordination at their finest. And it takes a bit of courage, too. Jack Miles, national champion on the long horse, tries a cartwheel. Perfectionist Price has a precautionary word. And Miles, one of FSU's brightest all-round stars, now does a well-nigh perfect handspring from the horse's neck. From Cuba comes Rafael Lequona, twice captain of his country's Olympic team in London and in Helsinki. Here he performs on the side horse. Not much like the rumba, is it? But then they say this takes less strength than the samba. Kian Sabe. Miles, one of the brightest Seminole all-round stars, now shows his form on the horizontal bar. Lekona, an all-round performer in his own right, tries his stuff on the bar. Hold your breath as Raphael swings out. Jack Miles comes up again. This time he does some eagle giant swing. Greeks and to Dr. Price, gymnastics were a way to bodily perfection and thus to spiritual perfection. Of course, Dick Gutting may have neither in this scene. Oops! But his clown act is one of many in an all-campus show called a Jim Canna. Hundreds of students participate in the healthy fun in many ways, performers, writers, musicians, and managers. Naturally, like the team and the sport itself, the Gymkhana is strictly on an amateur basis. Now, what's happening up there? Hold it, boy. Let's get down to earth. Miles runs.
rubs magnesium carbonate on his hands, not plain chalk. It gives him a better grip. And he takes to the air in one of the events in which he is the nation's best, the still ring. from an angle at which only the judges and the coach usually see the gymnasts. If you wonder how their arms stay on, we do too. For example, here's Bob Murray doing a back dislocate, a front dislocate, back cutaway, and a front one and a half dislocate cutaway. don't hear any bones cracking, and Murray comes out of this in one all-relocated piece. In the free exercise, grace, almost as in ballet, is the criterion. Yamili Ashmore works out a routine in which the greatest demands are made on his poise and suppleness. Here's Ashmore in a whirling, tumbling routine. Here is Ashmore again in slow motion. Now you can see the details of every twist and turn. It is this grace and poise, combined with the daring and strength of her champions and the dedication of her coach, that have made Florida State University the gymnastics capital of the nation, a veritable gym college. 